Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be replacing these old fluorescent lights in the garage with some new LED bulbs. I've never done it before. I figured I'd give it a shot. I'll show you guys how I do it. So it's not dark outside right now, but you can see got a little bit of light coming in here. But the light on this side I've already taken out. Uh, the bulb didn't even do anything, so I think the ballast was, was broken. Uh, this one here that puts off hardly any light especially at night uh, so this is the current situation and I'll show you how easy it's going to be to replace these and put new light bulbs in it's a quick view of the set of tools we're going to use we got our electrical pliers some cutters lineman pliers and then uh, some electrical connectors all right so these are the bulbs we're going to use these are the LED bulbs I'll put a link down in the description these are actually pretty bright um, they're double-sided so versus the single side of these ones here, we could, we're gonna put power to one side, and then on the other side, we're gonna run a common, common to this side. Uh, the single side, you would run your common and power to uh, one side of the bulb, and then the other side would just be blank. Uh, so we'll go over that, wiring these up here in just a second. All right, so you can see we have power right now to the light. Before we do any type of electrical work, obviously we want to cut the power off. Uh, in my circumstance, I have the panel over here, and then I have our light switch is right here. And you can see that that's the first step there that'll turn the lights off. Uh, but I'm also going to come over here uh, to the panel, and I'll turn the light switch back on so you guys can see. Here's our our other step. The light is on. Uh, coming over to my panel. We have the uh, garage lights here listed on number 24. Shut that off. Then the power is off uh, to the garage light. All right, so I'm gonna just put this up here. Okay, we're These light bulbs here just twist out. Squeeze. So now what we're going to use is our black wire. Here is going to be our hot coming in. Uh, all our power and our common comes in here, and here's our ground coming in it's right here. Here's our little ballast. Uh, we don't need any of the wires going into the ballast or we'll reuse some of these here so i'm just going to cut them here so i can get enough room to take these with me cut and cut these here now i see the screwdriver uh, there's a bolt right here the screw that will come out and then this will just slide right out over there and the old ballast just comes right out. All right, so off camera, I just used my Milwaukee vacuum cleaner and just cleaned up some of the spider web and tried to wipe everything down. Uh, if you guys aren't sure if you have power to uh, a certain device, um, so, so in this, if you guys aren't sure if you have power to, for this case, our, our light switch, uh, use a voltage tester. You can just come up here real quick and just kind of make sure everything is off. Um, I just I did flip the power back on, so right now we, we have power coming through here. And if you look here at each one of these wires, this is going to be our common. These other wires aren't, don't have power, then you get to this black wire, and of course there's power there. So, um, real quick, if you're not sure, I'll go ahead and shut the power back off and show you guys back up here. If you want to just come through and check everything again, and now you can see we have no power. So I'll put a link in the description for this particular voltage tester and anything else that I use in this video, uh, including the, the actual lights themselves. So these are our instructions that we're going to be following. We have the double end LED bulbs and we have the electric ballast and we're going to be using those instructions to complete the rest of this. All right, so from here, you just got to figure out 
what side you're going to use for power, what side you're going to use for ground. Uh, you can see here I got a lot of a lot of length out of these wires and I left them that way so that I can run across. Uh, right now I have this black wire which is feeding power uh, to both sides and I'm just going to run it now. I'm going to leave, I'm going to take this wire out and I'm going to run the yellow wires onto this side and the, and the black wires here and I'm going to leave these as hot and then I'll use uh, these wires here and run my common down to this side. Alright guys, so I just kind of organized everything. I have my, my white common wire that will come down here and it will connect to all four of these wires on this side. So this side of the bulb over here will get all common. Uh, and then I'll take, I'm going to take this black wire out because I don't need to come down here anymore. And what I'm going to do is take my yellow wires, uh, which will feed the hot wire into here. And it's just jumped over here to this side. What I'm going to do is strip these wires back, strip my common back, and then strip all uh, of these blue and red wires to the other side. In case you these are all going to be my hot wires. I got my alignment pliers. I'm just going to connect these together. I have a new wire connector I'm going to use. So I'm going to take all these blue and red wires, tie those all in together, and again this is going to be my common side. I need to extend this out a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the power back on real quick. I'm just going to test these before you put everything back in. I always like to do that with anything electrical that I do. Okay, guys, again, I'm going to put a, a link in the comments and in the description for these lights, as well as anything else that I use. These just put it back into place. power back on and we'll see what happens. All right guys, so this is the garage now with all the lights off. Got the new bulbs all installed and let's check it out and see what it looks like. And what a difference that makes. I if, don't know if you could tell on the video, uh, but this is significantly brighter, especially at night. We still have the daylight coming in right now, but I, I believe at night this is gonna be way brighter than it was before. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if any of you guys electricians out there have any, any suggestions or anything you would do different, uh, let me know. What I am going to do is put some kind of note up there 
to let the next person know that these are LED lights and they have to be rewired correctly with the ballast if you're going to put fluorescent back in there. But I highly doubt anybody would actually put a uh, fluorescent light back in uh, and get rid of an LED light. But important just to put a note on there so somebody shouldn't do that. Uh, but I'm going to get everything cleaned up. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, like the video, comment uh, with whatever you have. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. So thanks guys for watching. Have a good day.